This episode of The God Pod is called Return of the Santa Claus. Welcome to The God Pod. I'm the Lord thy God. I'm here today with my son, Jesus Christ. What's up, Jesus? Hello, everybody. And Woo! guess who's back in the mother... Guess who's back in the the very fine house? It's <laughs> Santa Claus <laughs> via satellite. <laughs> Welcome, Santa. How are you doing, Santa? I I detected a cough there. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm just getting over my COVID. COVID Oh, no. You can't say that word on social medias. Can you call it something else? Getting over? Oh. No, no. The the, the plague that you just said. Oh. We need to come Uh, up with a Christmassy name. Oh, okay. Um, You've been having Crancer? I've been having... um, Crancer 19? Yeah, candy cane. Uh, Can- candy virus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> candy cane virus. I got mistletoe disease. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but you got some Paxlovid, right? And that was taken. I did get us. Paxlovid. And it was very useful. That, it's that's... Be- and they and they gave you the Paxlovid, of course, because you were an old hefty dude, right? I think anyone can get it, but I, I, I but yes. You're a high but, risk. But thank you for candidate. inviting me about yeah, being an old. You're at high risk, Santa, on account of your diabetes. That is true. I do Which eat a lot a of Which is a very treats. serious thing. It's a very funny thing. <laughs> it's very serious. It's very funny. Very serious, and you might lose a limb. That's true. Hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully not my hopefully not the third leg. <laughs> hey Santa, how come you have to be visiting us today via satellite? How come how come we can't get full video? Is it is it because the there's is, too fucking is, it beca- is, is it because <laughs> the there's a huge snowstorm there on the North yes, Pole? Yes, actually you're right. You yeah. know what? I'm actually using a hotspot for Mrs. Claus's phone. <laughs> oh. My Wi-Fi is out. Santa, the listeners are very excited you are back and just in time for Christmas. How is it going in the North Pole? Are the elves on schedule? They are, yes. This is sure to be our most strenuous, deadly Christmas yet. Deadly? Deadly? What what do you, deadly? No, 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 no. You, you misunderstand me. I simply mean the amount of elves that have died in making toys has quadrupled this year. Um, <laughs> it, but this was is it because of the strike remember there was the strike there was the strike but the elf no, strike did that ever, I, i'm assuming that got resolved much like the screen actors guild strike and the and the actors wait and yeah, the writers, the writers. Uh, the no writers, no the actors are still on strike Right? They, no, no, they're all not on strike. No, oh, they more. settled it. Right. They did settle. No, and no. So no. did the elves. The elves settled. Um, they didn't get a great deal. Um, <laughs> of course. <laughs> because um, because the negotiating committee consists of me and Mrs. Claus, <laughs> and usually Mrs. Claus sits out. So <laughs> it was up to me to decide the fair terms. So I said, look. It is possible that someday the elves will be replaced by AI, but I'm gonna need, <laughs> but I'm gonna need un, a lot of unpaid labor to keep those AIs working. Right, and, what, and I go, and that's where you come in, and uh, wow. so, so, uh, and also, you know, the AIs, the I, AIs, the AIs, uh, I I trust them to make toys, but I don't know if I trust them to necessarily shovel reindeer shit Uh uh-huh and that's Uh where you come in that's where the that's where the the, that's where the human beings come in i mean the living elves you see what i'm saying okay well let's move on it's great to have you back santa always a card as always that's our santa claus remember when it was like april or summertime and we were talking about that little santa town Yes, in that the place northeast must, of America. Oh, you talking? Oh my God! Wait, we haven't even checked on it. What was that? What was that? <laughs> no, old right, okay. So here, here we go. Right start, now. start, start the clock, Jesus. It's welcome back, <laughs> welcome back, Santa Claus. What was the name it's of that old? Witch? Finally, the time of the year <laughs> where Sylvia. people care about you. Sylvia. 
<laughs> Santa's Village. That's right. Santa's Village. It's crazy how <laughs> the people go the whole year long. They don't give a damn about Santa. And then here comes Whoa. September. Here comes September. And all of a sudden, he's everywhere. And he's guys, the special guy. You guys, 20, 2024 season passes are sold out at Yo, Santa's Village. This Dude. place is hot. LFG. I don't, to, I don't want to say it's because of the God Pod. But it might. Th- it I might. It guarantee. might just be. We big that we give that place tons of free publicity. By the way, Santa, I wanted to talk to you about SantaCon, which just happened yes. in New York City. How do you? First of all, there's a lot going on. Like I said, all year round, no one gives a darn about you. And then here comes December, and all you can get is Santa, Santa, Santa. Who's Jesus? Nobody cares. Well, it's Santa hey. time. There's Santa Con where a bunch of dudes get drunk and dress up as you, Santa, and puke in the streets of New York. There's all kinds. Did you? I didn't know about this. I Googled you last night, and there's all kinds of marathons. Santa, yes. Santa, like 5Ks. And in San Francisco, they do it in their underwear. And, um, What's up with that, Santa? Are you a big runner? No. I mean, look at me. I'm big. <laughs> I have the runs. <laughs> <laughs> Just not a big runner. Got it. Yeah, exactly. Santa Con. No, Santa Con. Um, that it was rough, you know. Aww. Uh it, it's uh I don't like to see people dressed you sound up. Sound like me. you're still a little hungover. Yeah, you do. Um so does Jesus. Um, I drank way too much last night for no good you? reason. Yeah. Why I, are you a lush? I, yeah, he makes just, his own wine and I, then he I, drinks you? it. Yeah, and, and last night I, I was. What's uh, in it? Fucking Jesus. <laughs> Jesus just stands at the tap, just pouring water into his cup and just magically changing it to wine as it wow. goes. Yeah, it's, it's so it's fun. just staring off into the distance. Sad. Yeah, <laughs> but last night I was also doing gin and just I don't know. I have this new Roku gin. Wait, it's you a can Japanese change. Gin. You can change water into gin too. No, no, I, I was sampling. Gin. I I was sampling the the what the humans have come up with. Wait, I what like kind of gin one. do you have? Roku. Yeah, I'm fucking fire stick gin. <laughs> <laughs> I've got I've got yeah Netflix gin. I got Chrome gin. All right, all right, uh, I all right. Up anyway. That joke. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so, okay, Santa, you don't approve of these runs, or you do? I don't approve of the runs. I don't approve of the youngsters getting dressed up at me and causing mayhem in the streets in my name. I find that to be quite uh, disconcerting to me. Mm -hmm. Uh, And how about all the mall Santas? The what? The mall Santas. I approve of that because they're actually my helpers. Yeah. And how how about the Santas at the Radio City Music Hall Christmas Spectacular? I like the fucking broads that kick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And uh, yeah, we're as 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 a reminder, everybody, we're trying to cut back on the cursing today. <laughs> oh, right. Something that I've already broken. Have you ever several seen times, <laughs> several you ever seen times? Several times. Me, God and Santa curse like sailors. Let me tell you something. My favorite part of the Rockette show is where they do is where they do those that kick line at the end. And I really yeah. love it because they oh, usually no. they load up one of the one of the uh, dancers, they usually load her up with like a, a lot of like curry and hot sauce before the show. No, they don't. So then when she's kicking, she's also uh, evacuating. All right, cut his mic. That's not <laughs> true, everybody. I'm just here to tell you that is not true. We here at the God Pod have a commitment to the truth. Uh... <laughs> Santa, um, we have this post here from Reddit from the Am I the Asshole subreddit. Am yeah. I the asshole? Jesus, for- language. What? Oh, and I wanted I wanted to say, by the way, Santa, about that uh Christmas spectacular show. <laughs> I caught it a few years back. They sure have a lot of sexual innuendo, a lot of jokes about how Santa Claus is coming to town. Oh, are you serious? Santa Claus is coming all over the place. Are you serious? No. Santa, now there's a new Santa skeet skeet joke. Are you are oh. you for real? Is it okay? Is that it one, I joke? that one, that one I was making up. But you know, anytime someone says Santa Claus is coming, I'm instantly like, hey, yeah, I bet. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
This sounds like your own immaturity and not uh, the work of the the people that put on the show. Yeah, yeah, well, no, actually, that. no, actually, Grow there's up, a lot Dad. of there. Uh, hey, now, in my defense, there is a lot of sexual innuendo surrounding all of this. Okay, okay, okay. it's not just me. It's not just me. Santa Claus is coming to town. Gross. So Santa from the A I T A subreddit. <laughs> yes. AITA for telling my 13 year old niece the truth about Santa Claus. The truth being, Santa, you're not real. What is is this person an ass? Yeah, well, is, they're an is, ass, and they're also wrong. Because look, here I am. Yeah. So like, oh wait, what, let me read. Can I just see a little bit of this? Yeah, what is the sure. age? What is the she, age? I I I have a niece who is 13. This is what it says. Up until a week ago, 13 is too old. I think I agree. No, with that. to still be believing is, in is you. Is she? Yeah. Well, well, hold on. Uh, she's smart, does well at school, no developmental delays that I know of. She just, for whatever reason, still believes this. You gotta, you gotta just tell her. You can't. You can't. She's gonna be learning about sex ed soon. You can't. <laughs> yeah. You can't have her believing. In, Who is in, sex ed? Is that a... What? Is, is that a ed? guy? Is that a guy named Ed that just goes around telling... <laughs> Telling the youth about sex. <laughs> Santa's back, everybody. It's, it's and very hard for him feeling to, silly. It's very hard for him to do from 200 feet away from the school. <laughs> but he tries his darndest. Yeah. Santa, what is the right age for somebody to be told that you are not real? No I offense. Think, I think nine or ten. Don't stop. That sounds about believing. right. I think nine or ten. How about the people in the comments? We could go how, how, here. Look, this is good uh, engagement. Uh, Good point. What's uh, what's uh, what age were you when you stopped believing in old Santa Claus? And and what age are you now when you were proven wrong, seeing that I'm in the flesh? It's probably like eight or nine. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, not eight. You gotta let him enjoy at least. I'd say nine or ten. Double digits, no more Santa. No yeah. double digit. Oh, that's a good rule of thumb. Double digits. And if you make it, and if and if somebody ruins for you when you're six, uh, I got sour news for you. Or good news, you're going to be an atheist. Just telling you. <laughs> if, Las Vegas if, Beats has five years old. No way. That's way too young. What what, uh, what age is the best age to tell people, uh, to tell your kid what the right religion is? Uh, <laughs> none. You know? yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, Santa is back. Welcome back, Santa. So, no, you're, you're, you're not the asshole for telling your niece. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> All right, that was good. Next news story. Yep. All right, so, I got a lot of fun things lined up here that uh, because the news is the Santa, in case you have missed it since you've been gone. Um, can I breathe for the first time? Since you've been gone, everything got so much worse. Yeah, the world is on fire. It really yeah. sucks. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I just want to escape and have a nice Christmas. Peace, will, and good work. Santa, how's that uh, whole peace on earth and goodwill towards men thing going? Uh, say again? Peace on earth and goodwill towards men. How's, how's that oh, going? Have you checked the news? It's going great. Yeah, it's going real good. <laughs> okay, really uh, so anyway, like I said, I got some fun stuff lined up. Take it away, Jesus. Okay. Nearly half of men think they can safely land a plane in an emergency, survey finds. <laughs> Read me this article, Jesus. A January survey revealed that approximately one-third of adults in the U.S. feel confident in safely landing a passenger air aircraft with guidance from air traffic control. Interestingly, this confidence level increases to nearly 50% among males. Um so I think these people have a real ego on them. I, for one, do not think I could successfully land. A this plane. is in in short magazine. Is that is that a real website? Um, I don't know. In short dot gear tape dot com with a link at the top that says quotes. This seems like a spammy site, honestly. <laughs> mm hmm. I, you know what? I have. I think it's it. a legitimate candidate oh, for Santos's is. old seat is convicted in capital riot. You know, it's fine. So it's good. It's good. It uh, is. There's the survey's from YouGov, and that is a uh, from YouGov. Like, yeah. Okay. So no, YouGov. How many women think that they can safely land a plane? Uh, 
one third of adults in the U.S. feel confident in safely landing a passenger aircraft, but if you only pull men, it's fifty percent. <laughs> so that means a lot of the women were like, "Yeah, no, I can't do that." You know why? I'm not a, a pilot, right? I'm reasonable. <laughs> and but the men, the men all think that they can land a plane. So here we go. Oh, I, I got think this. I bro. probably could. We got the okay. Well, you fly a sleigh, so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> of course, Santa thinks Santa thinks that he can land a seven forty seven because he flies a friggin' sleigh. A little, all it takes is a little concentration, uh, maybe a couple buds, and if my wife uh, pipes down, isn't yapping in my ear, right, fellas? Wow, ooh, Santa! Ooh, wow, ooh, ooh, Santa! Ooh, Santa ooh. reminds me of that new TikTok comedian, Matt Reif, which I'm with, with his oh. constant constant people have been attacking him jokes about women and his wife and but i think santa is satirically exposing what a piece of crap he is right santa wait or maybe no he's just a piece of crap he is he is mean he Ooh, treats his elves boys. poorly santa, you. Uh, you you know what it is santa it's like that you it's like you were invented in the 1950s and <laughs> you have all the sensibilities of a 1950s I'm like a Norman Rockwell painting. You're like, yeah, you're like if Ralph Cramden became Santa, you know? <laughs> yes. I'm like if Big Crosby beat his children even worse than he actually did. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, he did. I'm he sorry. He did? He did? Yeah. Wow. Little known facts uh, about... Not little known. No, not little known. And no. it's the thing is, like, there's something about Christmas that it's like we're all worshiping 50s culture. Devil. Anyway. The devil, Santa, Satan, me. Nine, so 50% of men think that they can land a plane. Santa is one of them, of course. Let me ask you, Jesus. You can do miracles. Can you land a plane? Ooh, good question. I would be too terrified of landing that plane with passengers on board. I yeah, don't want to give me a scared it. face and just wave your arms around like, ah! Right, yeah. That's what uh, you would do. Do I have a scared face? I have these angry eyes with the, the sharp. You don't, you don't have a worried expression? <laughs> Deadpan. Surprise. 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 Suspicious. Surprise. <laughs> and now can you wave your hands around like, no! No, I can't. There we go. No! <laughs> no way. I could never do that. All right. You know what? I don't know. I don't think that I could. No. You know what? I've done it enough in video games, in like Grand Theft Auto, to land planes. Oh, and I yeah, know you, you do it. Then. No, no, no. Hear me out. I know you think that I'm going to say that means that I can do it. And I'm going to tell you right now, that experience has taught me that I 100% cannot. You know why? <laughs> Landing a plane in Grand Theft Auto is it's hard. so... It's hard! It's so hard. I, know, I I think that a lot of people that uh, I know a lot of people that practice on flight simulators, and I feel like that's a very it's almost uh, it, it's pretty accurate, as accurate as it can get without actually. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. They, they have like it. Microsoft has had one forever that I think is really popular. I've always wanted to play. Yeah, that, I think if you if you've been practicing on like a cool flight simulator game with all the trimmings, then yeah, you maybe you have a chance. But not if you if you Grand Theft Auto, you're gonna crash into a friggin' windmill. Windmill? Uh, what are you? A wind turbine? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> what? Can you not say windmill anymore? Is that not? Yeah, it's really uh, it's, it's, it's it's racist. It's old. It's old fashioned. Okay. I see. I apologize if anybody was upset about that. Well, anyway, we uh, what what the hell are you thinking, men? Yeah, men. You can't, men. You think. 50% of that. That's toxic masculinity for you right there. All Talk right, about a lot of Riz these men have. Am I right? That's a good no. segue because Riz was named Word of the Year 2023. <laughs> yeah. By Oxford right. University Press. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Oxford University. Oxford really is uh, embracing the trendiness of the internet. Clearly. They're just trying to get the clicks. They're trying to beat out Webster's. And they will stop at nothing. Mm -hmm. What about Encyclopedia Britannica? Hey, yo, oh. Encyclopedia Britannica died a slow death like decades ago. You used to be okay. able to order all the volumes on, on TV. Remember? Yeah, they used to. Yep. Yes. That's right. They used to sell them on TV ad nauseum. And every time I'd see them, I'd be like, wow, we really need to get more encyclopedias. And then I would be smart. And then I would know everything. You know... The way things are going, 
you're almost going to need an encyclopedia because the facts on the internet could be so manipulated Mm -hmm. that you almost want something physical you know the power of the internet Ah. like just for the fact like look at this it's shaping language do you know what riz means santa Uh, and jesus do you know what riz means yeah i know something that rhymes with i (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> there's our santa it means jesus charisma it means charisma you got riz you it's got a charisma. shortened form popularized by twitch streamer kai sanat who's got a massive twitch stream and and yeah riz became the word of the year of 2023 i'm sure you've got good morning america an- anchors saying it Yes, very, and a very funny. So apparently, Julie, uh, uh, <laughs> we have Riz. Uh, you're so right, Ryan. <laughs> like, I've never even heard of that word. It's the word of the year. All right, now let's cut to some quick news from World Affairs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, okay. there, was a, there was a deadly crash. On the, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> uh, the world is going to end. <laughs> Looks like that truck driver had a lot of Riz. <laughs> you're, you're all basically living in a Bo Burnham song. <laughs> we'll be right back with the weather. But at least we've got Riz. We yeah. Uh, you no, know, so... last year's word of the year from Oxford was what? goblin mode. And who yeah, uses that see, anymore? You see, you see, you see. I don't even know what that is. Goblin mode was something popularized by um, a former guest of ours, Juniper, oh. on Twitter. Yeah. And and uh, it basically, it's when a goblin goes into um, ca- no, not cowgirl. It it's a type Reverse of behavior cowgirl? which not is rever- unapologetically yeah, cow- self indulgent, lazy, lazy or greedy. Typically, in a way that rejects social norms or expectations. Okay. That anyway, definition. You don't have any riz if you don't go goblin mode. This is. Re- yeah, these words will not be used in the future. That's for sure. Because as that. soon as they become word of the year, they become instantly severely uncool. Oxford. uncool. Way to kill. It should be word that they killed this year. <laughs> hey, how about bed. where's the beef? Oh, that's a classic. <laughs> now, um, I bet anybody who drinks Panera Bread's charged lemonades sure had a lot of riz once they drank them because they have been <laughs> for a second death a lawsuit alleges so these charged lemonades have a ton of caffeine in them and panera hasn't been marketing these charged lemonades as something that's highly caffeinated i have also like heard to be charged <laughs> i've heard murder. that these don't even like they they taste really good they don't taste like an energy drink at all so they're very easy to drink rapidly um i want to try it you gotta have you yeah gotta what's have the worst a... that could happen jesus you're gonna die you'll just come back three days later right oh i see charge limited they, were they not marketed properly because this the person that died had high blood pressure and he did not regularly consume energy drinks because and, and i guess this lemonade had the you know the same effect as maybe a red bull or something right. a second death and a like a second said, death panera wasn't warning people that these are energy drinks so people would just drink right. them and, and not realize what they were getting into they just think they're many, getting lemonade. how many would they have i don't know i don't know i mean if you if you have if you have more than two lemonades in one sitting you're a glutton <laughs> but you what think it's, really it's lemonade good? you don't even if it's it... a regular lemonade what do you have a two lemonades for it <laughs> and, and also panera that's like where you go for lunch in, in the work day yeah like, with a lemonade a sandwich a, and a two? lemonade who has two lemonades at lunch and a bowl of soup well panera um, is so high 390 calorie. milligrams of caffeine y'all you gotta like watch everything you eat at panera everything is like it's it, it, there's like you, one you, piece of bread is like 500 calories it really is you, listen just learn from this you cannot trust these companies okay they your your food is your health and they two people two people and they is Panera gonna like face any consequences from this, Jesus? I guess they could get financially hit by this, but other than that, no. It's crazy. I mean, that's, you know, restaurants, <laughs> all restaurants carry risk. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, and I mean, you yeah, they they, they would you know? just say they would just say, look, it was in the it was listed everywhere. It's it's your fault. Yeah, you're, you're responsible for what you put in your body. I mean, you can't blame. I can't sue Pizza Hut because their pepperoni gave me diabetes. That like, is true. You run the risk of uh, I don't know. Uh, everything is unhealthy. Yeah, yeah, you run the risk of like putting these billion dollar corporations in harm's way and we I wouldn't want like, to do that right jesus no sir. i wouldn't want to do it i love corporations. <laughs> i love capitalism <laughs> that's what I, keeps christmas going right i will get uh i will always get down with a turkey uh avocado club from panera though that's a delicious you sandwich. will always get down with the sickness yes mm. I, bet, I bet sylvia inhales those things on her break <laughs> for fucking <laughs> I should have a lunch date with her sometime. Yeah, I uh, I used to eat a Panera, and then at a certain point, I, I just I was like, Ugh, this is disgusting. It's very it's it's, a, it's just a lot of calories. I, I just a lot of good a certain calories. Point, I, I I don't get me wrong. I think you the mean, bread the bread is still good, but mm. everything else just made me want to vomit. I like point. the cinnamon rolls. Oh. Yeah, the cinnamon rolls are good. You're right. You know what's really good? That you what? should try Santa. What? Those those charged lemonades. I should have about <laughs> four or five of those. <laughs> <laughs> There's Be no way that so someone wasn't taking care of themselves. If you're if you aren't I don't know. If, if, if you aren't you, in the best of health, be very careful. Don't yeah. eat Epidera. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Mm. I'm always on the side of Big Corp. You know what I love about Santa here? <laughs> he's got a still face image and he's not moving. And you know what? I haven't really noticed. I know. my my. <laughs> wow. I picked a really good. It's a really good image Very neutral. for you. It's, it, it just it nailed it. It's neutral. It's good. <laughs> it's so good to have you back. So anyway, uh, let's move on to the next fast food story, Jesus. Woman who assaulted Chipotle worker sentenced to fast food job for two <laughs> months. <laughs> I liked this story because it reminded me of the pilot episode of Seinfeld that they wrote in Seinfeld. Oh, the butler. Yeah. Oh, where yeah. <laughs> it's like he crashed someone's car and then that guy has to be his butler. And this is this actually happens in real life. Like what? It does. No, no. <laughs> this was I, I heard about this. Um, it, it's it's this woman in, was uh she was actually given a third option which was eighteen months, um, at Camp Green Lake, uh, digging holes, and, <laughs> and it turned what it turns out though that there was a whole expose on that they were actually looking for this old treasure that the warden's okay, I'm reading the I'm uh, just a second I'm reading the article <laughs> here Santa Barnum. and I'm not I'm not seeing any of that information He's including describing the plot of holes <laughs> yeah <laughs> Stanley good oh okay <laughs> just unreal what do you think that I know everything uh, uh, so Hayne was captured in a viral video screaming at a Chipotle employee before throwing her food in the worker's nice. face the judge said you didn't get your burrito bowl the way you like it, and this is how you respond. This is real. This is not real housewives of Parma. This behavior is not acceptable. Nice. I need to so see this. So this is how video. so this is how judges are punishing Karen's now. Yeah. They're like, yeah, yeah guess what? You have to work there now. I don't know if months. I want this. It's a punishment to everybody else. It is because she's gonna do a bad job. And it's a punishment to the other employees. She's not going to be a model employee. As long as people are allowed to go throw shit in her face every day that she's working. Yeah, let's put let, and what, let's put a Karen in charge. You know, let's put them in that. That's like saying that job is a punishment itself. Right. Does she get to pick what fast food place she gets to work at, by the way? Like, ooh, try, I wonder yeah. What it doesn't picks. say that it has to be Chipotle, right? <sighs> right? Yeah, I mean, Chipotle wouldn't want her working there. No. Paying her? <laughs> She'd right. probably be I like, guess... you probably catch her in the back with like three or four stock boys. You know? <laughs> oh, maybe. Well, let me tell you, that judge is no King Solomon. This is a wacky, <laughs> this is a very wacky resolution, don't you think, Jesus? Yeah, I, I, I sure do. All right. Uh, fun, fun thing happened. The new GTA 6 trailer dropped. I saw it. And I am super duper excited for this, everybody. 
This is incredible. They were going to set it in the North Pole, but uh, they were. I didn't allow any scouts to come up for the company to look at to look around because I didn't want them to see the horrible conditions. <laughs> right. So yeah. here it is. <laughs> Too horrible for Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. They mapped. They mapped several scenes in the trailer after real life videos. So watch wow. this. There's a guy pulling an alligator out. There's a woman twerking on top of a car. That's amazing. There's people running in, uh, tr you know, all over gas stations. A guy who's basically uh, <laughs> watering his lawn naked and. Oh, all kinds get, of stuff. They is basically Ike getting his uh, face eaten off from bath salts. Yeah, maybe, maybe it seems. I think they did the smartest thing possible, <clears throat> which was take every Florida man headline ever and turn it into a side mission or a main mission. Uh huh. I haven't played Grand Theft Auto in a while, but I know the game is still very popular. The fifth one came out what? 10 Blasphemy! Years ago? Thirteen years ago. I'm sorry, it's too evil and mean for my taste. I like. Oh, a, really? A happy, You're like. <laughs> you I like know, a happy Mario world. Nice segue. This reminds me of something Melon Huss said this week that he couldn't play Grand Theft Auto because five because the game starts out with shooting a bunch of cops, <laughs> and he just couldn't do that because he oh. loves cops too much. Oh. oh. Well, I will play this next Grand Theft Auto. It looks beautiful. It's not coming out till 2025. Huh. <sighs> I know. Fun. Why do they got to do that? Why do you like, oh, great. Great. I got to wait another year and, and a half. Yeah. And you know, the game's going to get delayed probably. And understandably so. It's it's hard to build a video game. So it seems. Mm -hmm. But finally, there will be a new, a reason to live, Jesus. A Aww. reason to live. Did you ever play Red Dead Redemption 2? That's their last I love game. Jesus, Rockstars. I've talked. Yes. I think that's one of the best okay. games I've ever played. Oh, it was amazing. And it was riddled with bugs, but it was yeah. still good. Yeah. It had a great story. Santa, what's your favorite video game? Uh oh man. Uh I like this one game that I used to that called Kringle. Kringle. You ever play it? No. It's a VR game. It's really good. Oh, you like VR? Yeah, I love VR. No, no, tell us more about this totally real video game. Kringle, it's great. You just you just Googled it, didn't you, you idiot? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Google, uh, no, Kringle was a uh, uh, a VR game for the uh, for the uh, Sega Genesis. <laughs> you uh, can hear you can hear him his wheels sinking, slowly yeah. turning as the candy cane virus prevents him from coming up with a good answer for what this way. Just let it go. It's okay, Santa. No, we I'm not I'm not done explaining my favorite game of Kringle. <laughs> so what right. do you do in this game? What, you what do? do you what do you do in this you alleged game reindeer? that's that's real? No, you have to prepare a Christmas goose perfectly <laughs> for for a lot of, for many guests and it's a very it's a yeah. very now and because it, it's so old school graphics it's not very immersive, or it doesn't look very good, but it's you, as Santa Claus, you're preparing a Christmas goose. So there's a lot of blood because it was Sega Genesis. Yes, it is so a lot cut of blood. Back, the blood you're flows you're out. cutting the goose. You cut right? off all the entrails and the feathers. You know. Yeah. It's a really good game. Kringle. It doesn't now sound like it. Sounds Genesis. like a game Dwight Schrute would like. <laughs> very good. I started re-watching the Christmas episodes of The Office last So did night. I. So did oh, I. Really? I just watched the Benny Hanna good... episode. Okay. Yeah, I, I watched that one too. So good. Oh, oh man. Good. Good Jesus. Good. I I love you, son. You know, I a lot of people too, Dad. they saw a recent episode. First of all, how's your audio doing? I haven't I haven't seen anybody complain. I think better. All right. I saw uh yeah, I don't know. A lot, a lot of comments of people being like, why do you call him God and you call him Jesus? You should be calling each other father and son at all times. You know what? They could shove shove off. Yeah. I call yeah. you dad. I call you father. Yeah, we kind of do it interchangeably. Is that why weird? Would, well, I mean, if... Okay, let's... I do it because it, uh, I don't want them to be confused about who you are. But let's look at a normal human family down on Earth. The dad will call the kid by their name. Exactly. 
Exactly. He's his son, news? when you've got like big news to share, like son, Santa's not real. Exactly. Son, but being by, gay is a okay. And, and you mostly call me daddy. Yeah. You know. Not daddy. No. 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 I reserve I mean, that dad. name for other men in my life. <laughs> he reserves that one for Judas and scene. <laughs> There's a video. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, we're all very, very excited for the Grand Theft Auto 6. I can't wait to get down there to fake Florida and just go buck ass wild. Father, I'm still playing uh, Spider Man 2. I'm really loving this game. It's I so haven't, good. I've you know I've been working so hard on on uh, videos and the pitch video and everything that I, I haven't found time to play the game. Isn't wow, that, weird? that shocks yeah. me. You love Spidey. I do, but I've just been. I want to play the Silver Surfer game. That's yeah. better. That's got to be a better game than Spider-Man. Silver Surfer. Everyone Is likes that... Silver Surfer way more than Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the candy cane virus talking. Stupid, stupid freaking character. <laughs> Silver Surfer. I like how you can see all the bumps and lumps. On what? And you're like, on the Silver Surfer. Be it male or woman. Doesn't he wear a little, woman. like, he wears, no, he wears like a little uh, cod piece or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an older one. What a stupid character. What is yeah. his point? He surfs. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, surfing experienced quite a revival starting in the 90s, okay? You had that movie. You had that movie with Patrick Swayze and Keanu Reeves, Point Break, right? Yes. Great. Exactly. And then it's just it's just been big ever since. So Damn. maybe you should get into surfing, Santa. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Do you remember the name of the see... guy that starred in uh, as Mr. Fantastic in the original Fantastic Four movie? I will uh... give, I will give, you, I'll give you like two bucks if you can actually pronounce his name properly. Well, <laughs> I don't even know silly, his name. It's a very silly name. Reed Richards? That's the character. No, what's his name? I don't know. Here, I'll put it in the com in, in the private chat. Say if you can see if you can say that. Okay. Lone Griffud. <laughs> Loan Grafood. I, I think it's an I, first of all. I, I own Graf, Grafood. Sounds like Scottish. I don't know how the hell to say it? Sounds Celtic. Um, gonna... Yeah, I heard the new one is going to be Jim Halpert. Oh. Is that right? Or is it going to be. No, it's going to be um, uh, The Last of Us again. Oh, The Last of Us again. The guy, what's his name? The new hotness. Oh, um, uh, Pedro, Pedro, uh, Pedro yes. Pascal. Yes. Yeah. The new that's hotness. What, the new hotness. Pedro Pascal he is, is he the is new hot. Literally and metaphorically. Okay. So, um, we got lost. All right. It's time for a new segment I call important questions. Now, Jesus, I've been asking a lot of fun questions on Facebook. I love, uh, seeing all the responses. Here's one that did really well. It's who's a comedian nobody will ever convince you is funny. <laughs> yeah, this you one. This one oh, yeah, earlier. I saw this. This one got a lot of. Uh... This one blew up. Yeah. So uh, let's see some of the responses. Uh, I tell people that Matt Rife is just as funny as Dane Cook, and I absolutely, absolutely mean that as an insult. Okay, so Matt Reif is currently the most hated comedian. Yes, um, he just had a Netflix special, and apparently it's really bad. It's really yeah, bad a... because you can't take shortcuts to the top of stand-up comedy. People on social media might get a lot of followers because maybe you know people think they're hot. He's stupidly beautiful. But, okay, but yeah, that shouldn't make him a professional comedian. But that exactly that I should think not qualify. Like weird, you. I think he is beautiful, but he, it's it's off putting. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, a, like it's I too do. much. It, it's too perfect. Yeah, he's definitely <laughs> off putting. So yeah, he ain't eating pudding. <laughs> ah, I don't get it. I mean, I guess he's got a yeah, he's in shape or whatever. But I, 
He anyway. looks. He appears odd. People do, you know, if you're if you're halfway good looking on social media, they're like, oh shit. Yeah. And so that's what that's how you make it in, in stand-up comedy now is just be good looking on TikTok. Because that has nothing to do with being funny, as his stand-up special so clearly indicates. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of people hated it. Other I saw some some surprising names on this list, such as Seinfeld. What? Uh, Will Ferrell. What's the deal with that? Yeah, Will Ferrell. A lot of people consider Will Ferrell not to be funny. I think he's amazing. Right? Santa? I think... I, I love Will Ferrell. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get where these people are getting off. He's also not really a comedian. He's a, How he's a dare you say comedian. that Will Ferrell's not funny? He's a comedic actor. That's not... It's not... It's not. Uh, it's disingenuous to say he's not a, a funny comedian. Mm -hmm. not comedian. True. Well, no, he's I, not a comedian. If he did stand-up comedy, that's a comedian. That, so, so nobody that's a comedy actor can be called a comedian. No, like for example, if they do both, Kevin Hart does stand-up comedy and. It, it, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And is Santa, 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 I just got taken to Santa school. Good job, Santa. Um, <laughs> I, I want to say I agree. agree. I agree with yeah, yeah. I love Will Ferrell. No, I agree. He's a comedy actor. Seinfeld is both. Um, I would say that uh, Seinfeld not so good at the acting. But if they do stand up, we're, we're judging comedian. them based on their comedy, their their stand up right, comedy. Right. So another uh, number on this list, Amy Schumer. Oh, I, funny. I have agree. I have never thought she was funny. She asked for jokes one year for Christmas. And I didn't bring them to her, so she stole them from other people. Yeah, oh. and then the, and then anytime there's all this talk of somebody being a thief, it's like that doesn't happen in comedy unless unless, unless Amy Schumer's in the room taking unless notes. It's, well Dane Cook for example like or Carlos Mencia. Yeah, it's just interesting to see people just turn on somebody sometime, and they don't do it for no reason. They do it because where there's smoke, there's fire. Amy Schumer also just has one lane. She's like she she plays the dumb, horny blonde. Like, oh my god, I'm so stupid. Sorry about that. That's her character every time. Well, I mean, yeah, either you like it or you don't. Um, well, it can be funny, but if you if it's all you do, it's like okay, we get it. Kevin Hart, you know, I'll grant that he's funny. Uh, is it? Do I think he's the funniest comedian? Uh, he's like a billionaire. Yeah. That's it. But you know, for but everyone, for poor, everyone, there, there's an audience. He got his start doing stand-up comedy, so you got. But he made his billions in, in, in movies. Yeah. Yes, but we're not talking. We're talking about like Ellen DeGeneres. That's a comedian. She 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 started as a comedian, right? She, as a uh, you know, whatever we uh, may. I don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you I, do. No, I don't. I don't find. Uh, I I don't find Matt Reif or, or those folks funny. Yeah, there was okay. a really. Uh, my favorite comedian of all time was a guy up here in the North Pole. Yeah, yeah. what was his name? Yeah. What was what was their name? His name was uh, Benny Snow. Really great comic. What a mm -hmm. name with a name. Yeah, like that. Benny Snow. He had some great material. You know, was it yeah. about snow? It was a lot about snow, Christmas. It was Christmas stuff. I liked it. I always used to book him for our holiday parties. Oh, what happened to him? Passed away. The abominable <laughs> snowman tore him limb from limb. No. Uh, why am we I laughing? Got, we all got. Why really, am I laughing? That's we all horrible. Got really, we all got really drunk once at one of the Christmas parties. No, Ben. Listen, no. listen, listen. And we all. So I, I was like, I was so hammered, and I was like, dude, let's go out, let's go out and find the fuck. Sorry, let's go out and find the find the abominable snowman and we'll have Benny tell him some jokes. And if he laughs, you get to bang Mrs. Claus. <laughs> so we all went out. And, what? Uh, Did Mrs. Claus know about this? I was gonna tell her. I was gonna tell her. I was gonna tell uh -huh. her. And so um we went out and found the abominable snowman's cave. And I was like, Benny, go in there and start just do your tight five. So we <laughs> went in. The second the snowman, the abominable snowman saw him, the second he opened his mouth, what's the deal? Tore him limb from limb. He was so <laughs> no! He just couldn't believe that prey had walked into his cave so readily. No, no. Yeah, Benny Snow. Jesus, you're, you're just laughing, huh? 
I'm sorry. It's funny. I'm sorry. I yeah. can't help it. I, I love I love how he started with what's the deal? <laughs> Those were his final words. Those what's were his final deal? words. <laughs> what's the deal with oh, yeah. Yeah. Just there. me, me, Donner, and uh, 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 UConn Cornelius? We just we just stood there. UConn Cornelius. We just stood there ah, and, yeah. lie, and, and we just stood there in horror as we saw Benny Snow. You ripped limb from limb. I bet that Yukon Cornelius has got some good weed. All right. He does. Uh, <laughs> let's move on to our next discussion, which is what's a hobby someone can have that's an instant red flag? Ooh, fun Telling question. Telling jokes to the abominable snowman. That's, that's... <laughs> <laughs> uh Let's see what some of the answers were. Um, I said someone who doesn't listen to the God Pod. Am I right? Well, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, good one. Someone said uh, Bible study. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Mis- missionary work. Hey, not the way I do it. <laughs> do- <laughs> Doomsday like work. Doomsday prepper. Oh, that's a definite red flag. Uh, you know what a doomsday prepper is, right, Santa? Sure. Yeah. The uh, prepare for the end of the world. <laughs> Right, somebody that's like obsessed with with the end of the it's world. It's coming. It's coming. like Sylvia, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, going to pro life marches. Good answer. Uh, people who have all these weird flags. Ooh, yeah. What? Elon, you know, oh, all, weird people flags. have all the different oh. flags these days. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, like the American flag. Uh, Elon Musk enthusiast. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> say, if you're still a Elon Musk stand. This last week, Jesus, it was not a good week. Every week's it, a bad week for him. For him. He um he invited Alex Jones back on his platform. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. After a poll, he said, Should we have him back on the platform? And apparently the vote was yes. But you know, he should have done it anyway. And this Shouldn't is even asked people. And this obviously Alex Jones is a um piece of crap the biggest piece of crap the biggest one of the biggest pieces of crap and then he had a uh like a he went did like a clubhouse thing with alex jones clubhouse what year is it well you know <laughs> twitter has their twitter spaces oh, yeah. he, he did an audio thing with, <laughs> with alex jones vivek ramaswamy and who else was there god what was that let me just check a second Who's who of uh, terrible people? Ron DeSantis. Uh, it was the nightmare blunt rotation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh um, Andrew Tate was also there. Ah. Uh, yeah. So absolutely, just the most despicable people. I guess you know, the richest guy in the world is uh, thinks Alex Jones is cool. So that's not yeah, good. No. We just need uh, Kanye. Marzipan yeah, they did says to round, Santa... to round it out. Yeah, that yeah. nightmare situation. Yeah, Marzipan says Santa. Why is Meg Ryan a terrible person? No, I, I don't. I, sorry, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 for, I, I forgot. Uh, there, she, she's not. She's not terrible. I'm sick still. He was just kidding. Yeah, he, don't worry. Sit. Santa makes a lot of jokes. He doesn't stand by. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and just racing through this last stuff, Jesus. This last week, Speaker Mike Johnson com- said that he's the new Moses. Well, part the sea, and then then we'll call you Moses. He said that he's going to part the Red Sea. And, um, yeah, no, he's not. Yeah. Uh, Trump said that he would be a dictator only on day one. Um <laughs> And you know you can't trust him because everything he says is a lie. He's like, I want to be a dictator the whole time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he knows how to make headlines with that insane crap. And they, and we're and, talking about it. You know, yeah. Democrats introduced a bill banning hedge funds from owning single-family homes. That's good. I, that that's is good. It's time news. to punish those, uh, I, 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 in particular, the, the mazes. The mazes? Yeah, the, hedge, the hedge mazes? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> and then uh, also <laughs> Biden announced billions to deliver world-class high-speed rail and launch new rail passenger corridors across the country. He also said he's going to uh, relieve another, what, 
four billion in student loan. We want our freaking loans paid off. Yeah, it's just interesting. It's interesting how his numbers went down amongst young people so much, and then he has all these like executive actions he can pull out to try to win people back. You know, like, hey, how about some more money for student loans? He's how about some? Right. And I just don't think it's gonna work though with a lot of people. They're like, yeah, you don't get it. That's we can't we can't be bought off, but. Yeah, I, I don't understand. There's no governing law. There's nothing that stops anyone from doing anything. It, it doesn't make sense. Why can't he just put out an executive order that says no more loads? You know what I mean? Yeah, because then he would be a dictator. <laughs> so what? And he didn't say that he was going to be when he was right. I don't know. I don't understand any of it, Santa. I, which is why I kind of like and I'm happy not to talk about it or talk about it as little as possible because it's just frustrating. And I think we all just want to escape from this nightmare, late stage capitalism disaster, right? And okay. Put right. on our Sega Genesis VR headset. Well, at least, at least Kringle. we, at least the president is coherent. And, <laughs> True. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I like, I knew this, but I was reminded over the weekend yeah. that Biden is 81. And yeah. I was just doing the math on, you know, if he if he gets reelected, he'll be leaving the office. Doesn't at look 85. a day over. Doesn't look a day over eighty seven though. <laughs> yeah, people are sick to their stomachs of um, old people in politics. Clearly, yeah. that has been made very clear. Will the parties like care in the my future? Grandma. Who knows? Who knows? It's like it's it's just a whole disaster. Uh, so twenty twenty four. Could be horrible, or maybe could be good things. I guess we'll see. Couldn't possibly be worse than 2023, right? <laughs> I, hate, I hate old people. I hate old people. Let me tell you. They're just... I remember... <laughs> when anytime so How old, wait, how old are you? How old are you, Santa? 39. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> anytime, anytime someone would tell me how much they love going to see their grandma or their grandpa, I'd be like, no, they're just... They're just wrinklier, smellier parents. Aw, who can't hear? <laughs> the food they make is terrible. Their house smells too. Yeah, so their house smells, smells like they have they have weird old toys. They don't get all the TV channels. <laughs> Listen, life is like a video game, and it just gets harder with each year, with each level. If you see people that are really old, you should respect them because they've made it further than you. And they wow. they are playing on the hardest possible levels of this game, and and I'm just saying I'm just throwing that out there. Okay, in, in defense, I just I, okay, Jesus, millennial. Beard. I just think <laughs> that why is it okay to be ageist? It maybe okay maybe ageist. maybe I'm only saying this because I am literally the oldest person in creation. Santa, All right, go Santa. so go you go hump a granny then. <laughs> I will. I will do so quite yeah. happily. Yeah, experience they're goes just, a long way. They're the same. I mean, people look. Experience people goes view, a long way. If you Listen, saw an old Santa, lady, old, a, old what? is better than nothing. If you saw an old lady on a dating app, it, you you would react as if it, as if she were like. Uh, if no, I would uh, not. Old would. Vaj you is better than no Vaj at all, Santa. No, you would react as she might as well be a rhino. <laughs> Santa gets away with everything, okay? That's why he's. he's I don't think he's really getting away with. (laughs) Well, you said you said can it? People are why? Why are we being ageist? Because Santa gets away with everything. Because he's old too. Yeah, sure. No, I'm older than he is. Anyway, I don't want this to end because we're all back together again and stuff, and Mm. this has been great. And Santa, come January, Santa won't matter anymore. Aww. <sighs> Santa, oh, Santa, Santa, why don't what? you matter all year round? How come nobody cares about you? I care. Jan- about January me. through November. I I care. What are you doing in, during No Nut November? <laughs> Nutting a lot. Because I let me tell you, yeah, I made up. I was like making up for all the bros Ugh, not doing it. Gross yeah. again. It's really gross. All is right, that why, just, that's why it's been hailing. <laughs> <laughs> Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming back. Every- Listen, Jesus, cut all this disgusting stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess, and I hate to say this, but I guess that it's time for blessings and smites. Oh, yes. 
I want to smite Santa's COVID infection. Thank you. I yeah. hope you feel better soon. Oh. And, uh, you know, maybe get vaccinated next I time. I did. Oh. Um, I want to bless God bringing the three of us together today. Oh. I want to smite Santa Speedo runs. Yeah. Unless you're hot. Um, I want to smite. Did Santa and our Santa go on a speedo run? No, I'm just thinking about the stories we were talking about earlier. Because I kind of would like to see that. Santa, yeah. you ever do a speedo Sorry. run? Oh yeah, you go out, you 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 run around, you buy some speedos, you go home. Okay, <laughs> that's Perfect. a speedo run. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to smite any parent who is waiting until your child is 13 to tell them the news about. Our dear friend Santa over here. That's yeah. too old. Tell him sooner. It's going to be embarrassing in school when the 13 year old's like, wait, what? Santa's still, Santa's yeah. not real? Right? You cannot be the same age as Mary was when she gave birth to Jesus. Okay. No. Exactly. Uh, I guess I would like to bless Jesus and Santa for being here with me today, uh, especially Santa. It's so nice, you know, to have you back. Thanks for coming back. Yep. Thanks for sharing your Christmas spirit with us. All the time. Uh, uh, you've got Riz. Um, <laughs> and you went goblin mode on this, even though you're still clearly sick. Uh, I would like to bless the GTA 6, and I would like to smite <laughs> time for being so long between now and then. <laughs> and uh, smite, smite Mike Johnson, as always. That's right. Oh, those were Santa, good ones. Santa, your turn. Okay. I would like to. It's it's a pleasure to be back here. By the way, mm -hmm. uh, uh, thank you for having Aww. me. Uh, appreciate it, especially this time of year. Yeah. Um, I would like personally because it's been a while. It's I got been a little. A while. I got a little something special for you because <gasps> it's Christmas. <gasps> I have a surprise. Yeah. A surprise smite. <gasps> All right. I would like to bless the good children. Oh. <gasps> yeah. And on the other side of the coin, I would like to smite the lovely children. <laughs> wow. It's like a demon just <laughs> fell out of his mouth. I think the COVID just came out. <laughs> right, it's yeah, better. The, the, there went the candy virus. <laughs> All right. Sorry. All right. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Santa. Aww. And th and I hope you feel better by Christmas Eve so that you can um, do a good job. Yeah, I got to work no matter what. Yeah. Send an well, elf around the world. They can do it. Yeah. Or <laughs> maybe. Uh, me. Nah, they'll screw it up. You could no, find that, you could find someone to do it for you, like you know, like an like an earnest saves Christmas type of situation. Oh yeah, yeah. I would yeah. do it, but I'm already booked for Christmas. It's my birthday after all. You don't do anything on Christmas. Well, yeah, you exactly. To, so to be fine. fair, to be fair, he doesn't do anything ever. Oh, my podcast. <laughs> That's all Jesus does. Except uh, as if to make my point. He podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for listening, humans uh, out there in podcast <laughs> land. And thank you so much for watching us on YouTube in or you? Facebook or wherever you're watching this in social medias. Uh, find the God Pod wherever you get your podcasts. The God Pod. Have it Yahweh. The Lord has spoken. <laughs> Jesus. Why do scary. I get mad at the end? Yeah, that was really and, angry. And Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 ho. Merry, happy holidays. Happy, happy ho how, how do you feel about this war on Christmas, ringing. Santa? Happy is there, holidays. Is there a war on Christmas? What? Is there a war on Christmas? Um. Uh, 
I don't know, but personally, I don't think it's Christmas unless I hear, I did! I really did see Santa Claus! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us today on The God Pod. I hope you had a divine time. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon, and share our sacred wisdom with your friends. The God Pod. Have it Yahweh.